Hi, this is Joe from iWorld Apps. Today I'll be teaching you how to programmatically detect the iOS device. Okay, open up Xcode, create a new view based application for iPhone. Call this device detection. Open this up and we want to go into targets. Right click on device detection and get info. Go to the build section. Scroll down until we get to deployment. Go down to target device family, iPhone slash iPad. Okay, close this. Then go into the device detection view controller.m. Uncomment the view did load function. Open this up. Need to create an NS string here. We'll call this str. We want if UI underscore user interface underscore idiom double equals UI interface UI user interface idiom pad close brackets str equals sorry just scroll down ns string sorry ns string string with string if you are using an ipad close square brackets we want an else statement sorry close this off first else str equals ns string string with string you are using an iphone slash iPod. So we're setting the string with the name str to you are using an iPad if the user interface is an iPad. If not, then it sets the string to you are using an iPhone iPod. Okay. Now we want to show this string, so we want to create a UI alert view with the name alert. Sorry, double open brackets square brackets sorry UI alert view alloc close square brackets in it with title title will be device the message will be the string so that's str the delegate is self the cancel button title is dismiss other button titles don't want any of these so we're just going to set that to nil close square brackets we want to show the alert so that's alert show we want to release it so it's alert release save this and we're going to build we have two errors okay up here what we've done is we've forgotten to open and close the brackets after UI user interface idiom save this yep. build succeeded Okay, so I'm just going to select the simulator, build this and run. You'll see the alert view. You are using an iPhone slash iPod. Okay, if we change the device to an iPad, just find the application. You are using an iPad. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe for more in the future.